Hey there, so this is my website and at the bottom of the page, if I click this button, it quickly takes me back to the top in a snap. It's really simple to set up and all you need is Elementor Pro. So on the WordPress dashboard, head to pages, all pages and click on edit with Elementor. This is the website where we'll add the scroll to top button. Since we need the button to appear at the end of the page, click on the plus icon and select this column. Now let's add an icon that will act as a button to go to the top of the page. So go to widgets and look for icon. Here it is. Drag and drop it into the container like this. I want an arrow icon. So let's search for it by clicking here. This looks good to me. So I'll choose this. Next, go to style and adjust the size to somewhere around this. Then go to advanced and change the position to fixed so that the button remains visible as the user scrolls down the page. Okay, for some reason it appears at the top corner instead of at the bottom. To fix this, let's set the horizontal orientation to the right and adjust the offset accordingly so that the button appears in the correct position. Then set the vertical orientation to the bottom and again, adjust the offset value accordingly. You can see the arrow moves to the bottom right position. Now, if you want to customize this button even further, like change the icon, color or size, just go to style and advanced tab and tweak the settings. Now, let's see how we can make this button functional using CSS. Don't worry, it's easy to do and does not require any technical knowledge. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now let's move on to the next step. Now to make the button work, we have to link it to the top section of the website. So select the first container, go to advanced and here I'll assign a CSS ID, which will help us link the button to the top. Next, select the icon. And in the link field, add the CSS ID like this. Let's see if it's working properly. And yeah, looks fine to me. Okay, now let's see if this button is compatible with all the devices. Go to responsive mode. In tablet mode, the arrow button is visible. And the same in mobile mode. However, we don't want it to appear at the start of the page by default. So to fix it, we'll add some code which I will paste in the description below. Let's add a container. Then in the widget section, search for HTML. Drag and drop it here and paste this HTML code in this box. Next, select the icon, go to advanced and in the custom CSS, add this code. And we are done. Now let's see how it looks. I'll go to my website, scroll down, you can see the arrow disappears at the top and reappears on the right side when we scroll down. And clicking on it takes me back to the top of the page. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.